Hi, I'm uh, Tony Mesa with Tony Mesa Real Estate School. Um, and uh, you could uh, go to Tony Mesa Real Estate School dot com uh, and you can find us there. Okay, what I want to discuss today with everybody is this is related to math. You know, the state exam, <clears throat> you have 45 questions that are law related and that's both um, federal law, state law, license law, these different areas of law and then 45 what they call principles and practices. They want you to know a little bit about everything from appraising to surveying to financing, um, things that you'll be doing in real estate and related things. And then you have approximately 10 math problems. Um, the idea is that there's a little bit of overlap between principles and practices and math sometimes. And this is one example of this. I want to explain clearly to everybody out there um, in the government survey system, uh, some of the calculations they might have you do on the state exam. Now, this is not a full explanation of the government survey system. For those of you that uh, do the course with me, you get a full explanation um, for the state exam. And if you do it online, I have the, all the videos detailing it in more detail. Um, so this is just one little part of it, but you, I want you to be clear on this. What happens is in the government survey system, uh, these huge squares called townships are formed. Um, and a township, a town ship, is a big piece of land that is six miles by six miles, right? Um, now, what happened is when they were marking off these townships, they had to have a way of making them smaller. So the idea is that inside each township, you have 36 sections. And the way that it works is you always begin um, in the northeast corner with section number one, and you work your way east, three, four, five, and six. And then the surveyors, what they would do back in those days is when they got to section number six, they would drop down to seven and work their way uh, back east, right? Um, so nine, 10, 11, 12, and then they would drop down to 13 and so forth, right? So the idea is that you have 36 sections in a township and it is always the same order. Let me finish drawing this and then I'll keep on talking. Um, so I'm drawing this out. And if I don't wind up with 36 sections in a township, then I made a mistake, right? That is always the order of the sections in a township. So it doesn't matter which township you are in. It could be a township here, over there, every township, that's always the order of the sections inside a township. Now, a township, we said, is six miles by six miles. Uh, each one of these sections, I'm just going to take section number 12, and I'm going to draw it bigger here. Each one of these sections is one mile by one mile, right? And something that is one mile by one mile is equal to 640 acres, right? That's a number you need to know for the state exam. So for the state exam, you need to know that the township is six miles by six miles. Uh, you need to know that each township has in it 36 sections. Each section is one mile by one mile. And when something is one mile by one mile is equal to 640 acres. Now, look, what happens is the way in the government survey system they make this a smaller piece of land is as follows. Uh, so let me draw the directions here. For north, south, east, and west, right? So they might tell you that you're in the northwest quarter of the southeast quarter of section 10, right? Or section 12, we said this would be, right? So of section 12, right? Doesn't matter which section, they're all the same size. So what happens is you're in the northwest quarter of the southeast quarter. So the first thing you would have to do is draw this section into quarters and you're in the southeast quarter. The southeast quarter is this piece I'm marking off right here, right? And then you're in the northwest quarter of the southeast quarter. So the idea is I would draw this into quarters, and the idea is that the northwest quarter is this piece right here, right? So that's the piece of land we're talking about. So you see, to find the actual parcel within the section, you have to go backwards. But to calculate the size, you don't have to draw anything. You don't have to go backwards. What you have to remember is the magic number. You start with the magic number, which is 640 acres per section. And you just divide 
by the number on the bottom of each fraction. So 640 divided by 4 is 160 acres. And then there's another 4 here divided by 4 is 40 acres. So the idea is that parcel of land there would be 40 acres. So the idea is since each section has 640 acres, you could just divide by the, by the denominator, the number on the bottom of each fraction, and that will tell you what, what size th that parcel is in terms of acreage, right? You have to watch out for the word and. And in this method of legal description means a separate parcel of land. So let's uh, take a step, let's erase here, and let me give you a little bit of a longer one, right? So the idea is that if you have the northwest quarter of the southeast quarter of the south one half and the northwest quarter of the northeast quarter okay and the question is how many acres total is that right so the idea is i would start here with the number 640 because 640 acres per section divided by four is 160 divided by four is 40 divided by two is 20 and I stop with the number 20. By the way, the number on the bottom in the government survey system when they're div divvying up these sections uh, is always a two or a four. There are no eighths or sixteenths. It's always quarters and halves, right? So you're always going to be dividing by either a four or a two, right? Why do I stop there with 20 and? And means a separate parcel of land, right? So then I start again with 640 divided by four is 160 divided by 4 is 40 and then I add together 20 plus 40 and that is 60 acres so when the question is what's the total acres there the answer is going to be 60 acres all right so this is something where you're doing a mathematical calculation uh, but they may or may not consider this a math problem in your state exam it may be counting towards principles and practices the idea is that you need to be clear about uh, all of this, and again, uh, visit our website and, uh, and you can learn more. Thank you and have a great day, bye-bye.